We are working on applications of higher order derivatives. We've already seen two examples. The first one, velocity and acceleration. The second one, we were talking about the rate of workers' production. And let's go ahead and see yet another example. An oral painkiller is administered to a patient, and T hours later, the concentration of the drug in the patient's bloodstream is given by this equation here. C is T, C standing for the concentration, and T standing for time, where that's defined as 5T over 8T squared plus 9. In part A, we want to know at what rate is the concentration of the drug in the patient's bloodstream changing T hours after it's being administered. In part B, we want to know at what rate is R of T changing at time T. C is what rate is the concentration after one hour. Is it increasing or decreasing? D, when does the concentration begin to decline? And E, over what time period is the concentration changing at a declining rate? I encourage you to pause the video and work all these parts on your own. Starting with part A, at what rate R of T is the concentration of drug in the patient's bloodstream changing T hours after it's being administered? So we see at what rate or given by R of T is what we're looking for. So we want R of T, which is our rate equation. Well, that comes from C prime of T in this example. Notice we have a quotient or a fraction here, so we're going to have to use the quotient rule. We're going to do low d high, so the original of the low, times the derivative of the high, minus high d low, or the original of the high, times the derivative of the low, all over the low squared. So I've just taken the derivative by using my quotient rule. So let's go ahead and simplify. I'm going to do that by distributing my 5 through here and distributing my negative 5t through here, which really means I'm just going to multiply. So this gives me 40t squared plus 45 minus 80t squared over my denominator as is. And then 40t squared minus 80t squared gives me negative 40t squared plus 45. Now, we might want to keep my rate equation just like this, or I might want to simplify it a little bit, meaning I can actually factor my numerator. So if we did that, we notice the numerator has a common factor. I can take out a common factor of 5, but also since my leading term is negative, we most likely would want to take out a negative 5. If we do that, that would leave us with positive 8t squared and then a negative 9. And then that is still over my original denominator, 8t squared plus 9 quantity squared. Now, we notice the numerator and the denominator are very similar, so there might be hopes of canceling them out. But since they are not exactly the same, one is negative, one is positive, you cannot cancel anything out. So this is the simplified or the factored form of our rate equation, R of t. So there is my answer, and either one of those would be an acceptable answer.